crap! This bulletproof glass skateboard wheel just exploded from spinning faster than a jet engine. In past videos, we've tested many materials to see how fast our water jet can spin them. Some of them blow up, and others go scary fast. You see, ever since I was a kid, I enjoyed the finer things in life, like reading, nature, exploration, and putting myself in mortal danger. I'm also quite curious about how different materials behave in extreme conditions. So spinning this bulletproof glass wheel at the speed of sound until it explodes is right up my alley. But I can't just walk into a skateboard shop and ask for a bulletproof glass wheel, so I'm gonna have to make it myself. To start, I'll draw the wheel shapes in AutoCAD. I need one for the center of the wheel and one for the rest. Then I'll get the glass mounted on the water jet and start cutting out lots of our shapes. You might know, but this water jet pressurizes water to 60,000 PSI and shoots it out of this small nozzle at Mach 3. That speed will come in handy for spinning things later. Now that those are cut out, I need a few circles made of plexiglass. While those are being cut, let me explain how bulletproof glass works. Bulletproof glass is basically a bunch of layers of glass and plexiglass being held together with resin. So after drying and cleaning all my glass circles, I can mix up some resin to add to it. If you saw the video where I tested making my own bulletproof glass, you know that it works surprisingly well, even stopping armor-piercing rifle rounds. However, the resin was a little brittle, so this time I'm going to use a resin that's a bit softer which will help with impact absorption. The only problem with this resin is that it takes two days to cure, so in the meantime I'm going to make some other wheels that I think will be interesting to test out. Since we're testing glass, why don't we test glass in a few other forms? Sand is glass before it heats up, so I'll make a sand wheel, and broken glass is glass, but broken. To make a mold, I'll 3D print our skateboard wheel, then get the silicone mold making stuff. I had to go to a scary place to get it though. Now I just mix part A and part B together and pour it over the wheel, but I have to be careful to not let any air bubbles get in, or our finished product will have little warts on it. Now I just let that cure overnight. Then I can take the wheel out and ta-da, we have a mold. Now I just need to add some resin to this sand, or should I say add some sand to this resin. Oh, it's like doing the thing. It's doing the hydrophobic sand thing. Oh yeah. Okay, we're not gonna fill it up all the way because this is going to displace some, just like that. Now we just let it sit here for 48 hours. After waiting all night, I couldn't wait to crack open the mold and see how the wheel turned out. I'm, I'm a little nervous, I can't lie. The mold's coming off fairly easily. Oh, that's not good. Let's see what the bottom side looks like. Bottom side looks great. Okay, let's make the glass wheel now. This one is a lot more simple than the sand one. I just took the leftover glass pieces that I cut the circles out of and smashed them with a hammer. I collected it into a cup, sorted out the bigger pieces, and put the smaller pieces into our mold. I added some resin, then put it in the vacuum chamber like I should have the first time. I waited for the bubbling to die down, then took it out and let it sit overnight. Once it was cured, I took it out. All right, it has been a couple days. Say hello. <clears throat> hello. Hello, Bentley. I'm just getting the slow mo set up. Let's crack this bad boy open. <sighs> okay, there we go. After some quick adjustments, we had our four skateboard wheels ready to be spun until they met their demise. Now this skateboard is the perfect mount because this piece is already blown up and flown past us. Roll the clip. I got it. What did that go? So that can't happen again, which is good. I'm thinking we start out with the 3D printed wheel because it's the least dangerous and then we'll get more dangerous from there. We turned on the air compressor because if you don't have it on, this is what the slow-mo footage looks like. There's way too much mist. So hopefully the air will push the mist out of the way so we get a more clear shot on the wheel spinning and blowing up. All right, 3D printed wheel explosion in three, two, one. <laughs> What the heck was that? What in tarnation? All my time is spent doing stupid crap with tools I don't have. Oh, you know the, my bearing blew up in my skateboard wheel and I have to get the outer ring out of my wheel tool. Oh, nice. There we go. Now you have a nice ring, Daniel. Whoa. Daniel, will you water jet me? Wait, I thought that was what I was supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we forgot about that. <laughs> All right, these are ceramic bearings. I didn't think we'd need these because you usually only need them when you're trying to break a speed record, not blow something up. Okay, third time's the charm. 3D printed wheel, three, two, one.
So I guess the 3D printed wheel is too weak to survive spinning this fast. Like the bearings are intact, but the wheel is completely walked out. You can see this massive gap that formed. I could fit this entire pick in between the wheel and the bearing now. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that the wheel is warped. I'm surprised this wheel survived as long as it did, seeing as it's basically just plastic and that it's 3D printed. Doing some math with the frame rates of the camera, we can determine how fast this was spinning. Spinning at 9,700 RPM is no joke, even if it didn't explode. That one was a little lame, but I'm kind of terrified for these next ones. Those materials are definitely going to explode. Oh, there's a giant spider. Where? Right there. Holy, is that a black widow? She's a little dusty, but you can see the red on there. Now don't die, Daniel. Well, at least we know what to tell the doctors so they can give me the right anti-venom. Okay, next up is the sand and resin wheel. Let's put this on. Yeah, this one's gonna be exciting, to say the least. I don't know how, but my mold must have been not perfectly round for some reason, so it's a little off balance. So we're gonna see what kinds of consequences that has and if it's dangerous or not, and hopefully it still explodes. It is currently 10.02 p.m. and we're only on the second wheel. So hopefully this doesn't take all night. This is the sand and resin wheel. Hopefully explosion in 20,000 frames per second. It blew up! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> There's two holes! Oh my gosh, and this flew off! This was right here, and it got yeeted off. Loud environment, it got up to 95 decibels. What's crazy is that this explosion had enough force to throw that metal circle like six inches in the air. Oh, it looks like it's just a little bit off balance. Oh wow, four clean pieces. Oh, and it went straight through the plywood on the bottom. Oh, and the shield jumped like two inches. This sand wheel was spinning 48,000 RPM before it blew up, which is kind of insane. That's like twice as fast as a jet engine. We had a couple camera issues on this one, but we figured it out for the next one. Uh, I think my mold is bad because this one is also really off balance, which is weird because I took a on balance 3D printed wheel and put it in the silicone and then I filled the silicone with glass bits and resin and somehow it came out wonky. But it'll probably still explode, so let's see what happens. We're gonna zoom out just a little bit on the slow-mo camera so we can see the wood and the shield to watch the force of the impact hitting them. This is the glass shards with resin holding it together wheel. Hopefully we'll see a cool explosion. Oh my goodness, I heard something hit over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, where could that have gone? Uh, I don't think we're gonna find it. Yeah, that thing's gone. It's somewhere over here maybe. So. Oh, there's a piece right there. <laughs> that looks fun. <laughs> This is uh, lots of cuts waiting to happen. Oh, it's the piece with the Sharpie on it. What a treat. So this is about a quarter, so my guess is it split into four. Wait, did the weight move? Was the weight there before? No, this, this fell off, Again. I think, before it blew up, though. Oh, okay. From the vibration. I felt the vibration in the floor. No, like, I felt it. It felt like when a, when a really big jet passes overhead. Yeah, because like it started going a little faster and stopped. That was weird. You might be able to see in this camera footage, I'm like, Ew! behind the computer. Oh, I can't blame you. I was like that behind the steel dumpster way back there. <laughs> 
the little spacer came out and now all the ball bearings are free to go wherever they please. Oh, you can see the cracks starting to form. Even though it hasn't blown up yet, there's a lot more cracking, which is interesting. I would think if there's cracking, it would blow up. Oh, there it goes into three pieces that time. That's interesting. Oh man, so many glass shards flying around. So it wasn't just the resin that broke, it was the glass too. Oh, that piece that was floating is getting blasted by the water jet and it's still in midair, which is crazy. This wheel blew up at around 28,000 RPM, which is crazy because the sand wheel almost went twice as fast. I am sanding down the plexiglass layer on the back because it had some schmutz on it and this will make it look clearer. Look, look, it's already clearer. I think I'm definitely starting to like sanding. All right, here we go with the crazy glass piece, the bulletproof glass. Get our washer on there, washer, I hardly know her, and get our nut on there. That sounds sus. I need my shield, turn on the GoPro, iPhone. Okay, Phantom's rolling, Osmo's rolling. All right, I'm a little terrified. Uh, this glass is gonna be very violent and maybe very strong, so, Basically, the stronger it is, the more force it takes to explode, and the more force it takes to explode, the more violent the explosion. So let's hope we don't die. All right, before the pump explodes itself, let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh-oh. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh no! I forgot to turn on the air! I hope the footage looks okay. I got hit by a little bit of glass shards, like no raining down. Oh, look at all the smoke in the air. Oh, look at this. The only things that are intact are the polycarbonate layers. Oh, there's a shard of glass back there. It looks like about a square inch. That's crazy. There's a couple shards around here, right there, right there. That blew up a lot faster than I thought it would, honestly. Like, that didn't really get going too fast. It, I, I mean, maybe it did. It just didn't really make all that much noise. The frequency didn't sound as terrifying. Okay, here it goes. It's spinning. There's some things flying off. Looks like the last layer. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that was so violent. Glass went everywhere, the whole screen. It would be interesting to try a pure plexiglass wheel and see how long that survived. The RPM on the bulletproof glass wheel is almost identical to the glass and resin wheel. If you want to see us do the same experiment with a Beyblade, a yo-yo, and a fidget spinner, click right here. And don't forget to check out the FlexiSpot link in the description. Yeah, yeah, it's no getting away from me. I think I did see a red hourglass. Okay, smash it! <laughs> <laughs>